That's right, it's going for gold, the seasonal weight tips and dietary needs. It's Peg Alexander the Great, and she's great at, that's right, keeping off weight. Oh, hey Peg Alexander the Great. She's going to have a uh, top five golden tips in at number one. Well, in at number one is basically Christmas dinner isn't the problem. It's all the parties, events, mince pies, chocolate, alcohol and all the extras that go on from the festive season. From about the 12th, 13th of December right the way through to New Year, it seems like it's an excuse to just stuff our faces with anything and everything. So watch it. Pace yourself or you'll become a pud yourself. In at number two... Christmas is a social time. Now, sometimes other people struggle when you choose to make decisions about your food. So basically, if you know that someone else is going to struggle with it, i.e. you're going to stay with someone who likes to feed you up all the time, have a chat with them beforehand. Uh, Try and work out a new way of doing that so you're prepared for that to happen. You are what you eat. You're influenced by the people you meet. In at number three. Plan, plan, plan. Oh, yes. You need to plan all your food and all your meals across the whole of the festive season so that you can think about if I'm out one day and I'm going to be eating a load of stuff, I'm going to counteract it the next day. Think about foods that keep you feeling fuller for longer and even foods that burn off more fat than you're actually in them and counteract some of the other foods with that. So plan for the whole of the Christmas season. Fail to prepare. Prepare to fail. Oh, very good, Dan. Very good. In at number four. Don't slump, keep it active. Now, we all know over the Christmas season it's too easy to just sit on that sofa, in it? So what you need to do if you're not going to work and you're not getting as much exercise as normal is still find ways to stay active. It doesn't need to be going to the gym, right? Go shopping and push your trolley round. A big Christmas load is as good as a workout. Get on the Wii with the kids. You know, do games that involve jumping up and down. Go for walks with the family. Take every opportunity that you can to get a bit more exercise. Even little things like keeping stuff upstairs rather than downstairs. So you have to run up and down the stairs. Just get as active as you can. Avoid being a Christmas lump and go out and get yourself having a jump. In at number five. And in at number five, last but uh, probably not least, don't panic. You always have January to deal with any extra festive weight. Sad, sadly, studies show that most people who put on weight over Christmas don't lose it the next year. So year on year, it just adds on. So basically, say to yourself, I'm going to enjoy Christmas. If I do put a little bit extra on, I'll just lose it in January. That's Peg's Golden Tips Top 5. If you want more details about Peg Alexander the Great, how do you do it? Uh, You just go onto my website and it's keepingweightoff.co.uk and you can click on How to Survive Christmas. Going for gold with Peg's Top 5. Thank you very much, Peg Alexander the Great. She's good at keeping off weight.